of the tourist island of Lombok at about a quarter to 7 p.m. local time, so just after dark. It was very powerful, a magnitude of 7, and fairly shallow as well, just 15 kilometres deep. So it triggered a tsunami warning for local coastlines, which after some time was lifted. But for a while there, many coastlines around the area were very frightened indeed. I spoke to a source on the ground in the Gili Islands nearby, and that source told me that hundreds of locals and tourists fled to high ground, which wasn't very high. Some of them were huddled in the dark, wearing life vests and praying after each aftershock. Now, there's been a series of aftershocks, the strongest I've seen at 5.4 magnitude, so they're fairly strong as well. We've seen reports of fairly significant damage and widespread blackouts on the island of Lombok. And the quake was so powerful that it was felt right across the island of Lombok, but also in the neighbouring island of Bali as well. Lots of reports of tourists there running out of their hotels for safety. I'll be in touch with the President, President Widodo today, uh, and we'll offer all assistance uh, that, uh, that is you know, available. Uh, we always reach out and assist our neighbours when natural disaster strikes. Any advice about Australians who might be among At the At this injured? stage, no. Uh, obviously, Australians have been affected. They felt the, the shock, including Minister Peter Dutton, who was at a counter-terrorism conference.